Hello and welcome back to a little games and tectonica. We're here at the factory where we just automated uh, floors, fuel, and conveyor belts. Mach 2 conveyor belts. And I've been soaking them up just as fast as they get out. But I'm noticing that there's still a need for fuel everywhere. And those are not getting the iron ore. And the reason they're not getting the iron ore is because we need more fuel. So we're going to start off today with boosting fuel. And to do that, I believe I'm going to erase these conveyor belts here and add some more assemblers. We've got three, so let's just, let's stick with three apart and let's just add more fuel assemblers. Looks like we can add two more fuel assemblers and we're going to set them to making more fuel. Yep, that's the plan. Now, we're going to want a three-way split. So, we've got these all balanced in the same area. But we want to speed it up. So, I'm going to go for... A three-way split off to the side. Right here. All right. Mm-hmm. And somewhere along the way, I guess I could just turn that to go like that but I want that to stay up in the air here and I'm going to bring it back over this way and down to here And just like that, I guess we're going to need more inserters. That's right. We have the limestone inserter. It was red. What are we dealing with here? Limestone. Let's get rid of that inserter and that inserter. And put in the red because it needs to go faster than the plant. And we're going to... We're going to bring this one over. You know what? I can just squeeze it in over here. Did I put that far enough apart? They need to be another one apart. or else I won't have room to take out the fuel. So they gotta be four apart. Just like so. And the red inserter back on this side. The yellow inserter on that side. And we can just put yellows on this side. So they're not going to make all that fast. That's what it's all about. I 
All right. And I can just go over here and be like, I want to go down. And we place this there to there. Rotate that around. And say we want fuel being made and fuel being made. Now we go for pulling it out. Now I'm just going to right there and put it there. And for the last one, I believe we're going to go up. Because we can't go. Can we go down? You know what? Let's go down. Oopsie. All right. We're going to bring this one down to here. I need to fall down there. I want to just, yep. Yeah. Put that one there, like that. And it trucks in some limestone. And all the limestone is being fed in. Now we want to do basically the same thing with plant matter. But we got Shiverthorn right next to it. So we need to bring it up before we can split it out. So we want to go up. And over. I'm pretty certain I can just put a splitter right there. And then we get us a horizontal. This is where we got to fall down again. I could go into settings and say I don't want to ride conveyor belts, but I just adore riding conveyor belts. So that's not an option for me. And we're just going to twist it. Get right next to the machine and we're going to take it down that looks good and it's working and with the last one we just want to go up You know what? I'm just going to come down like that. It's nice and simple. And here comes the plants. Now, the fuel line's here. Mm. Uh oh. That's a problem. 
So we're just going to pick up all the fuel so we don't see any iron bars. We don't want to ship all that out. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. So, oh, that happened here. And it won't curve there, which means the iron bars are going to try. So we hit a snag. So I wonder, can we create, this is not the way to do this. I don't ask you for much, Breaker but I want those mining charges back at the warehouse. Don't forget that the processor unit you just made is exactly what we need to get through the door keeping us away from them. Oh, I see. And that means yeah, it did it again. All right, we cut it all. You know what? We might just have to not use that one, but we can speed up this one. That'll work. Because it's not getting any grass. Okay, there's the grass. So, does this one have the same problem? Yep. Well, we'll just make another red. Get rid of that. And that. Put out a red. There it goes. Now we've increased fuel production. Are we going to stay backed up in dirt and limestone? Good. And the limestone drain is going slow. So we won't have to worry about that for a while. But we will be making, what, three times the fuel? That should show up over here and it is much more fuel is coming out faster than the sticks the furnaces are burning and as the fuel gets out there they'll complain less about not getting iron ore and copper but the drills will be grabbing their fuel And that is solved. I like it when a plan comes together. All right. Now we've got some fuel going everywhere. Let's talk about automating those red inserters. Oof. I mean, we've been creating them slowly. Alright, I'm going to just put this out here. 
That gives us more room for automating. And we put in a assembler here. Let's see. Let's just put one out here for now. And say, hey, we want to make red inserters. And it's going to say it wants yellow inserters, processor units, and Kindle Vine extra. Oh, somewhere to put that Kindle Vine. Yay. All right. So since it's a three demand, need more space so we can put stuff on the side. And we'll just add that there. Put a box here. And add some good old yellow ones here. Maybe just a couple. All right. So that means... Well, wait a minute. Let's just take a look again. We'll have to automate processor unit making and automate yellow inserters. We're also going to need more assemblers. So... I want to grab 10 of those and we're going to put another one here we're just going to go with three apart yeah at three apart because I plan on putting yellow inserters in this one and they just got to ship straight to the other one and that'll leave room for something else to flow in and we can just put this here and we can say we want yellows here and they need mechanical components okay so now we got to automate mechanical components and processing units and if I'm not mistaken we go over here on our primary mission we need processor units as well okay so with that we'll just get to automating alright so now we're running into the conveyor belt so we might just have to double roll this one up for now So I'm going to put them four apart and I want to take a peek at processor units, what all it requires, plant matter frames and electrical components. So we're going to need some of these and some of those and that's going to need copper wire. All right. That's one more assembler, another assembler and another assembler, three more assemblers just to get that done I never did say exactly what I was building there did I? alright but I also Alright, plant matter frames we can just put here. There they are. And another assembler. Yeah, another assembler. I'm going to put this one right here at four part. We're going to make this one electrical components. And then we need another assembler for copper wire. Hmm. 
quite a bit of need just to get those red inserters all right we'll start the basics copper wire needs an input or two and it needs copper now the copper line was over here somewhere it's right there and it's coming down this way and I'm just going to delete it right there add one of those and we're going to say we want to go up I think that's a good spot but it's not We're going to go up high on this one. Right, yeah. I missed again. I think that's a better way of uh, aiming. And with that, we're just going to run this over here. And the only thing it needs is copper. Ah. I stopped one short. <laughs> so, and there's the copper. Now, who needed the copper? You needed the copper. We're going to put a blue one right there. I don't think anybody else needed copper. You don't need copper. You know what? I might just stop you from going in here altogether for now. But you combine there. So we'll just bring you out right there. All right we got it yeah that's right okay and then he makes plant matter frames and he wants plant matter frames so we just bring the plant matter frames from him and take them over there I'm gonna put the labels up there we go now we can see and then all he wants is electrical components. Now the electrical components have got their wire. Why is he not? Probably because it's full. Yep. And he wants iron. Well, to put in iron, you need an inserter. And we need iron. So we're going to go over here where the iron is cut up a little. Now I'm just going to place a box here, split it up, and I'm going to get horizontal about it. I'm going to get more horizontal than that. I'm going to go over here 
That was electrical points that needed it. I'm going to check this out. All right. I want it to twist there. And then there. And there. Yes. All right. Now we're making electrical components. And processor units want electrical components. So, man, if I put them three apart, I could just use a blue one. Oh, well. And just like that, we toss him over here. Now he is getting electrical components. Should be. All right. Why are there no electrical components in here? because he's turned around the wrong way. All right. And he wants processor units. To get those processor units, you just toss them over. Just like that. All right. And the only thing he should be missing now is, oh, he's missing yellow. Oh, we haven't got this one done at all. Where were those at? We did not put down an assembler for that. All right. Is that all he needs? That's all he needs. You know what? I'll just put that there like that. One away. And we'll just... Toss that inserter right there. And we'll say, you're making those. And we're going to need more yellow inserters. Because we haven't automated all the way yet. And we put in a yellow inserter here. And here. And we're going to. We're going to cut you out. And we're going to cut you out. Then we put in some splitters. One up here. One down here. And obviously we're wanting to go down. So we bring in the iron there. Oh, okay. We need to come over one. Then we can go down. Now we got the copper. And then he should be shipping here. And... Yep, he's creating. And someday There we go. He's creating. Which means Yep. Yep. All right. Now all we need is Kindle Vine extract. And I've been boxing that up for quite a while. So if we look down here on the bottom left, you can see that box has copper. And these boxes have limestone, empty. Uh, those thrashers are making it. And that's copper. Empty, empty, iron. There it is. 
There's the line. I see the line. I want it from right there. Actually, that's a splitter. I could just feed off that and take a look at this. Oh, that felt good. There we go. Just like that. We have automated everything. Now, say we made a bunch of stuff and we want to upgrade everything without rebuilding it then we're going to need the replacer and the replacer requires more purple memory hmm all right well if you've got this far and you like what you see next time we'll upgrade or automate some uh, research purple memory and uh have a great day <laughs> bye bye